Welcome back to another daily, weekly, I don't know what this is gonna be, probably weekly vlog. I feel, hey, can we talk about the elephant in the room? Look at my hair. I don't know what I did that is different. It's kind of in like a half up, don't look at the back. It looks gorge, but let's go to the gym. If you have watched my videos, you would see that literally, the one that I posted right before this one. I hope I'm in a good mood tomorrow. Because I had the worst day literally ever. Do you want the light on? Yeah. We're gonna do a little bit of makeup. I feel so cutie and natural that I don't even wanna do that much makeup for the gym. We have another geyser, by the way. I think they just, whenever one leaves, it just like transports into another place, it's fine. I had, okay, I can't, better. I had a really, really hard night last night. I think something about my mental health, it is like a geyser because it just, I have really good strings of days and then I have a bad one and that bad one is the worst. And it's like in the, those moments too, I can't even articulate or picture a world where that's not my constant. It's so crazy to me how in the moment I always feel my tar blush. I always, always feel like it's never gonna get better. And it's the most frustrating thing too because when you know that, right? Like I'm in a good mood today. This morning I was a little down and you know, I, I filmed some and I that actually really helps me is like educating you guys and like talking, connecting, reading you guys' comments because it gives me kind of a purpose in that way. And I think it helps with my momentum and whatever, but I woke up feeling kind of upset, but I'm feeling a lot better now. <laughs> I think 85% of that has to do with the fact that I literally have a good hair day. That, that solves every problem ever. We're gonna go in with the Fit Me powder. Cute. But what's frustrating is I know that it gets better because I'm on the other side of it, but no matter how much I tell myself that it gets better, still in those bad times, it's like, it feels so permanent, dude. And if you struggle with mental health, you know exactly what I'm saying. You even, you can even know that it'll get better, but it's this weird feeling of like, I just don't even care enough to stick around to find out. Like, I'm sure it gets so much better, but I would much rather take like 25 more years without this feeling do not feel worth five more minutes with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of where my my brain goes in times like that. And I don't mean to like scare anybody and get like people nervous for me. I'm totally fine. It's just in, I have these, these fucking like episodes. I don't want to call them episodes because I feel like that is the wrong word for it. I just have these moments where it, the world's over and it's like, I don't know what I can do about anything and what's the use and blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's tiring, but it's tiring and in the past and we're not gonna focus on it. And we're gonna have our brand new day. I'm about to go hit legs, which I'm actually really excited for because I always leave the gym after legs feeling so, so good. I think today I really want to clean a lot because my mom, so <laughs> I don't mean to be a negative Nancy, I'm so sorry. We're going through a lot of family shit right now and my mom has been a stressed out girly and I feel so bad for her. And she's been gone working. She had a five night stretch. She works night shifts. She's a travel nurse. Five nights of 12 hours. I think I would, sometimes I think of that and I'm like, and I'm over here crying about like washing my face. And there's my mother who's actually a superwoman providing for the family. Get a grip girl. Can I get a grip? <laughs> like it's, it sucks. Anyways, I feel really bad and I know that sometimes like she'll come home from a long, long stretch and then she'll have to, not have to, but she'll start cleaning and doing all these things and I just, I don't want her to have to deal with that. So I feel like it could be really therapeutic for me, but also helpful for her to do a bunch of the stuff that she usually does and just some extra things so that she can come home to a really clean house. Like I think I want to clean out my fridge. We haven't done that in a really long time. We're going to find some artifacts in there. <laughs> There's going to be some geodes of mold in there. Coming home and then you have to grocery shop too. It's just kind of hard, whatever. So I think I'm going to grocery shop for her. Mop maybe? I don't know. Growing up is weird because as a kid, my mom used to tell me all the time like, oh, you need to like, she would tell me to clean certain things or my eyebrows doing what is happening here hey can you good my mom would tell me things like you need to wash your baseboards and shit and i'd be like you're making that up it is having a really clean house is nice she was right she ate with that when i was growing up oops makeup i feel like this is good for makeup should i do mascara i don't know i feel like it looks so cutie just naturally girl so maybe i won't do mascara today i don't think i will some of all of that is if you're listening to this and you're having a bad day that's real and your bad day is so valid but i promise you it's gonna get better and even if you don't feel like sticking around for it that's okay go take a nap go eat some tuna <laughs> that's what i did and it gets better and i know that it sucks sometimes i don't even is it bad to say like sometimes in those moments i don't even want it to get better better because the sadness feels comfortable I've been very depressed, but like, I mean, I have depression, whatever, but like in my past, I had a, a really hard period of that. This is my fit, by the way. Define jacket. Okay. We have 
the define. It's, it's all defined, but just don't. And then the blue shorts, impact shorts, so cute. This zip up jacket, I got this in black, in gray, and in pink. And I think I'm gonna wear the pink tomorrow for Valentine's Day. Cause it's so cute and I feel like a surfer and I love it. But anyways, this is the finished. Hey, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I don't know, but I hope that it was encouraging. Also, I think I fucking lost. If you guys look at one of my vlogs, I pulled a cord out of my laundry hamper. It was the cord to charge my beats and I can't find it. And I hope to the dear Lord sweet above that I can find it because if these die today, I'm going with them. Like we're going down together. So I must turn my heater off. Let's go downstairs and make some pre. I have to pee so bad I'm shaking. That's enough talk about last night because I like to just like keep the past in the past. I had some oatmeal this morning. Okay, I feel like I have to sneeze, but now that I acknowledge it, it's not gonna come out. Yeah, it went away. But I think also, cause yesterday was, okay, I'm not talking about the past. Kidding. I'm very excited to go lift. I'm feeling very grateful. I'm feeling very good. And I'm trying to trust the good, not doubt it, because it can stay and welcome it. You know, we're going with the pump surge. This stuff is like messy. Do you see that? Right? Not, it like gets all over the, whatever. How are you guys doing? Um, how is February treating you? I genuinely cannot believe that Valentine's Day is tomorrow. I think back to like this time last year, just so much was different and it's just crazy to me how much can change in a year. And that should be exciting because that means a year from now, who the hell knows what's gonna be going on, you know? I think for pre-workout, we're gonna do the green apple. I really do love this flavor so much. The non I'm almost out of it already. Which, maybe that just means that I use it too much. I don't know. Out of all the addictions I could have, like I feel like caffeine, it is a drug for sure, but it's like, I'll take that over. It could be worse. That's how I justify it. I could be doing worse things, you know? I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the strawberry margarita with caffeine just because it's 12.38 right now. So, like it's fine. Not too much. I'm not showing you. Oh, you can't even see it at all. Hey. Sorry. In better beautiful news, I feel really good today. I'm excited to clean. Cleaning always makes me feel really good. I feel like the middle school version of myself would not believe me when I say that because she'd be like, what do you mean? I think because of the leg day, I'm gonna add some salt and honey to this. I do that sometimes because salt you need for like intra workout and also it helps with your pump because like the blood flow. And then some honey for intra workout carbs and just sugar. You couldn't even see that, but I added some. I don't really have that many thoughts right now. I feel like I usually have a lot more to say. I don't really have that much more to say. <laughs> okay. Everyone's like, thank God. You get a minute of relaxation. This is your rest time in between sets. Me talking to fill your AMRAP. Yay, it's lukewarm, I don't care. Yeah, we're gonna go hit some gluteus. I'll see you either on the way to the gym, at the gym. We'll figure it out. Come on, bitch! And to make things better, he dropped for me? Come on! Guys, this is your sign. If you have a really bad mental health day, what if Bryson drops an album tomorrow? You're gonna miss it, okay? That might be your reason, anyways. I wonder if you guys can tell <laughs> the difference between my, my energy in these clips versus before I leave of just what I drink, my my go-go juice, bitch, call me Jojo Siwa. It's about one o'clock. I try to aim on the days that I'm off work and I'm going to the gym and filming and stuff to go to the gym around this time because then it's a lot easier for me to film when it's like one-ish o'clock-ish, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking and I'm feeling some leg press. I love leg press. I might do single leg leg press as well as my like unilateral movement or like reverse lunges. I haven't done good mornings. They used to hurt my lower back years ago but I think that I just I haven't done them in a long time because of that I fear that I'm gonna have bad form and it's gonna hurt my lower back and low-key I'm 21 years old and I think I pulled something working yesterday hello anyways so I'm afraid that I'm gonna hurt my lower back I'm not aging I'm 10 I, I promise I'm 10 or at least I feel 10 so I feel actually I feel 85 and like 6 at the same time all the time that's I don't have words for that I might try doing good mornings again and just see if I can kind of get that form down to get that mind muscle connection because I know that those are cool movements and I try to kind of throw some variety in there after a while let's go hit some glutes I'm excited yay this is where we're at right now
This is our last heavy, heavy set. So let's tap it. in a bun. We're on our like 25,000 piece of gum. Nice. Whatever. I'm doing my heaviest set right now. And then we're gonna move on. Oh my, my back low key hurts kind of. 
I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna do these and then hyper extensions for sure. Let's get into it. I don't fucking know. I'm crawling on my gym floor. We're just doing some hyper extensions. The key to these, because these are really, really easy to feel in your back, is keep your back rounded and literally just imagine that you're squeezing a penny with your butt cheeks. That's how I, that's the cue that I tell myself. So let's get a good song going. Guys, I don't know what the fucking song is right now. This is why it takes me so long at the gym, because like, what are we doing? Get hip or don't. hyper extensions you can't even see me but I'm not adjusting that so sorry the key with these is to go super 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 heavy because sometimes mind muscle connection is really hard for me but oh I know what song what you know about that let's get this shit I'm gonna do a drop set by the way so I'm gonna go to failure here and then half it you get it I'm doing 130 and then 70. Let's get it.
Pump check. This lighting's kind of butt, but just trust. <laughs> What's she building in there? Is how we looking? How do you get backwards shots? <laughs> Don't look at how I'm holding it, but. Ooh. Hey, you like what? Can I zoom out? Oh, hey. Get some sunshine. Not too shabby. My calves are still so sore, so I'm not treading those today, but I feel so good. All right, we're just finishing. Don't look at my hair. Just finishing with some stairs. Honestly, I have no idea how long I've been going. I've just been replying to you guys. I posted my video last night, so I've just been going through like comments and responding. You guys are so nice to me. And I read every single thing ever, and it means a lot, but we're going to do this probably like 20 minutes, and then go. Accountability check. Whew. Let's go home. All right, we're home. I already ate. I ate way too fast, because I'm intentional about showing, and then I just get so focused and eat that I forget. But now I'm gonna clean out my fridge. So that's one of the little cleaning things that I really wanted to do for my mom, and these shelves that we have in my fridge. First of all, my fridge itself is ancient. Hey, why is it wooden? Where are we? I'm tying my shoe. And no, I haven't changed out of my gym clothes. Don't. But I know that this would help my mom out a lot because it'll help us see what groceries we have and then I might do some grocery shopping for her as well so that she can come home to a nice full fridge and not have to worry about it because what? That would suck. Imagine, imagine working 12 hours in a hospital, starving, hungry, you come home and there's nothing in there. I would, no. I don't know how to like show. This is kind of what we're working with. This is what my fridge looks like. So, as you can see, this is her. Uh, not horrible, but a lot of the stuff on this side, we don't really, I don't know what the expiration dates are on that. So I think the way that we're gonna do this, I'm gonna go shelf by shelf and take everything off the shelf, take the shelf off, clean it, check the dates, put it back. And we're just gonna work downward. Do you know what I'm saying? So we'll do this shelf first. Like some of this stuff gets stuck all the way in the back and you can't even, we have pumpkin honey mustard. What dish would that require? I don't know. I don't know what the date is. Oh no, this is home goods food, y'all. This is TJ Maxx, Maxx food. Okay, well it's still good. I don't even think it's been opened, whatever. But we wouldn't even know we have that. Creamer, we use the Chobani creamer. Oop, and then we should just be able to take the shelves come out like that and then we're gonna close it so that obviously we don't look how fucking nasty that is. okay maybe should i even be posting this on the internet we'll see i'm gonna go in with my dawn power wash this lighting right now is, it's giving i kind of wanted to go on a walk today but it's too cold i don't feel like it a little scrubber this is dirty but whatever look at that uh, that is literally dirty it's brown what Get a little dish rag, wipe it off. Make sure you get, okay, it's just my butt in the frame, hey. Make sure you get that underside, you know? That looks so clean already. Yay, this is gonna look good. I'm gonna take some of these Lysol wipes and clean behind it. That's probably dirty as well, I can imagine. Disinfectant wipe, let me see. When is the last time that you've cleaned your fridge for real? Can you answer that question? Back. Was it this way? Yeah it so it doesn't go bad and then we just double check everything before we put it back petition for them to put the dates in a way easier place march 20 it's february yeah it's fine what like i never know what day it is okay i'm gonna repeat that process for i think just these main shelves and then i'll show you what it looks like after that and i'll show you also what expired food we find because i feel like that's a fun game it's like playing grandma's pantry of like what year are we in what decade is it these two shelves and then this down here and i will show you when i'm done these shelves are all done look how nice that looks Wow, it's no like clear containers with the eggs in it, but girl, it doesn't need to be, you know what I'm saying? So now we're gonna do these drawers. These are where it's like really like messy. This is just like our meat and cheese drawer and then like our veggie drawer. And then we keep like oranges down there. So I'm gonna take everything out of those and then wipe that out as well. It hasn't been that much expired stuff, but that's where like it'll be on this side. Like our tree, our trees, our cheese drawer. What? Ew. Like stuff just kind of 
comes out and I don't know the last time that someone actually sat there and cleaned it. And you also use a lot more of your groceries or you're more inclined to use. I'm very good with, not to eat my own ass, but I'm very good with making sure that we use everything. Like I always try to, you guys know I eat cans of beans until, you know, whatever. Like my dad, for example, he doesn't even know what we have in the fridge. And you don't know unless you clean and put everything in like front, you know? I don't know how often you should do this, but I imagine a lot more often than we do. So. And if you want to even lead this into just healthy eating, you're probably much more inclined to eat the food that you have if it looks better, if it looks more presentable. Like think about like presentation. If you have a really cute, clean fridge, you're probably not going to want to eat out as much because you have food in your clean, in your clean fridge. You know. Well, the way that I've wrestled with getting this drawer back in, it literally won't go. So we're giving up and we're going to make my dad do it. But this is what like the back part looks like. Super organized and clean and slay. And now we're just gonna go through this stuff and so far all that was bad guys is this fucking block of brie fridge is completely done that doesn't even take that long the drawer we're still not gonna talk about it okay i redid all these so they're all clean now we organized this all of it and this is all that was kind of like bad or expired so these are from 2013 hey they're like face masks why do we have that in our fridge i don't know okay if anybody wants a lemon um and then we have some rosemary that <laughs> if i was an if i was an herb if i was a pine needle that would be me this is literally empty this expired in don't know and then this mix that has been in my fridge i'm not even exaggerating so long it's older than me i think i don't know not too horrible i don't know what's going on luna hey what? Everything is so clean and we can actually like see what we have. Isn't that so much better to look at, dude? And now we know. And now I can like make a grocery list if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that tonight because it's already six o'clock, but. We're outside Giant right now. Tell me why, y'all. I just looked. I didn't even bring my wallet, so I literally put the card. Hey. <laughs> What's the, like, the card is in my bra. That's, you know what, whatever. I just wrote down a little tiny grocery list. I asked my dad. Oh, okay. Colgate commercial like what is going on okay with that a little list after clearing out the fridge of just some things that we need I asked my dad I was like can I set this up here is that gonna even work is that gonna work whatever but I asked my dad I was like do you need anything from the store he goes I have everything I need I have my cereal and my diet tea and we have diet coke I was like okay what groceries like what food do you need he was like I have my cereal that's that's not okay Okay, so I'm probably gonna pick him up like a rotisserie chicken because he does not cook for himself and that is about the like far as he'll go. He needs some matchstick carrots for when he goes to Chick-fil-A and gets their market salad. If you guys want to know the Bill Cordova special, it's a market salad, no blue cheese, with two balsamic vinaigrette dressings, a large Diet Coke, and a cup of ice cream. The people at my Chick-fil-A know him by car, by number, by everything, like he's famous there. So I need to get him carrots for his salads that he puts in there. But besides that, it's just kind of my basic shit. And then, so we're outside the motherland. Let's go. Hey, I'm home. Like, I'm literally home. Bro, tell me why they have every, bags of every potato except sweet. For what? Like, who are you trying to hide from that? Like, look at this shit where we have literally russet, red, yellow. Hey, where's Miss Sweet? Like, you got a bag it yourself? What is this? We're getting some apples. Honeycrisp are the best, dude, but they're so much more expensive than everything else. Like what? If you snack on Granny Smith or <laughs> or Red Delicious by choice, I'm literally scared of you. So we're just gonna get Gala. But they're kind of small. I don't know if there's like an apple crisis going on, but like, look how small that is. I need 10 of those. Are you kidding? These look pretty big, so we'll get a bag of this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if an 18 count is six, wait. Is this cheaper? Oh god, this is why I don't do grocery shopping on my own. If an 18 pack is 6 69 but two and a half dozen, that's 18, no, six dozen is 12, yeah? So 24 plus 6 is 30. So that's 30 for $7 versus 18 for $7? Is that right, dude? I literally don't know, but this packaging looks more bougie, so I feel like that's more expensive somehow. So I'm still just gonna get the 18 of the white, because I feel like that's better. Yogurt, you guys know this is my favorite yogurt of all time. Love, love, love. Add to cart, thank you. She's looking pretty cute. 24, y'all. Don't look at my handwriting. What else? Oh, okay. Get yourself a rotisserie. I think my dad just likes the plain one. Whatever has the least amount of 
seasoning on it is what my dad likes because he eats salt and like needs milk to chug it down. Friends here, roaster size? Okay. All right, hey, at the car. We're just stocking up on our rice cakes, y'all. Isn't this so crazy? Literally the fact, look at the price difference. These, just because they're giant brand, are half the price of the fucking Quaker ones. It's double the price because it has a man on it. Hey, but if anything, I'm gonna gravitate for the one that doesn't have the man. I don't wanna see a man if I don't have to. Do you know what I mean? Justice for a giant brand. <laughs> Grocery hogs, I don't feel like doing this at home. I'm just getting some lunch meat. We have turkey and ham. My ham, my dad likes ham. It's gross, I know, okay? 647 toast, of course. This tea, y'all, if this tea has zero fans, like my dad is no longer with us, quite literally drinks like 25,000 of them. And I got my sugar-free syrup, some gala apples, the rotisserie chicken, yogurt. This was actually cheaper than the Bragg brand. I don't know if there's somebody coming and I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm scared. Then I got spinach and yogurt and that's literally it like if we had to take an average of what our family cart looks like it's this all the time it's always these are like our staple things it's wednesday i just got home from work y'all i that was a hard shift let me just tell you but that's okay i'm about to go get my eyebrows threaded for the first time by the same spa so if you remember i got a massage a little bit ago and my dad gave me like a hundred dollar gift card and the massage only covered like 80 and i was looking on their website because i was like okay i only have 20 bucks it's not enough for like a massage again and they have eyebrow threading for 22 dollars so i was like i need to get my eyebrows done so bad anyways but i usually get them waxed threading is not something i typically do but in my brain it's free i just changed there's no heat in my house right now i went to make a burrito and i couldn't get the stove on i had to microwave it so I'm freezing cold. I've gotten them threaded one time a long time ago at, at like a mall in one of those little like side kiosk kind of thingies. And I remember it did hurt pretty bad. Like it was hard not to squint. I just prefer waxing. Also it is more precise because they can individually, you know how they do the cool thing. We are outside Tranquility Day and Spa, bitch. Let's go. This is the waiting room, guys. Look how cute this is. Like, they have little snacks here. Oh my god, this is where I got my massage last time I went in there. It was so nice. We can get a zoom in on the brows. They're perfect. They're literally perfect. They are a little tiny bit thinner than I oh hey than I usually get when I go to my wax lady. Usually I get my wax and my my eyebrows and my Brazilian done at the same time, but not at the same. T that would be crazy. But when I go in the same swoop, my girl Hannah Manuel, shout out, I love her so much. It's a lot less painful than waxing. Waxing is not painful either one. I I think my tolerance for pain has gone up a lot. Like my Brazilians, I I can fall asleep in the chair. But I've also just been doing that for a long time. The only time that I got a little bit sensitive was like the outer parts. But it really it took like five seconds. It was so simple, easy. I remember when I went and did it in the mall that one time. I remember my eyes watering. I thought that it was so painful. It really was not that bad. Girl, I think I was just like a dramatic seventh grader. It looks so good. This is like how I said I love my eyebrows when they're freshly done like this. They're not groomed upwards and like filled in. Such a nice... Little, it just makes you feel so clean. I am my own Valentine, so that's my little present to myself today. It was 20 bucks, took two seconds, and now I feel so much better and cleaner. And that's what self-love is all about. Me and mommy are about to go to the gym. I want y'all to look at my zip up right now. Okay, I'm gonna go on my knees because it's, <laughs> this is from Define. How cute is that? How cute, then I have my hoodie, my hoodie, my sports bra. The, it's all Define, but like, don't laugh at me. So cute. These are young LA sweatpants, um, but then I have like the defined shorts on underneath. This is a butt shot, but I mean, can we look at the glute growth, please? Thank you. I'm literally bringing clothes because we have to shower there because we have no hot water, no hot air. I've had my heater going for all day. I'm so blessed that Lifetime, I mean, it is expensive. You pay for it. Trust me, you pay for it, but like has showers and things that I can use because we can't shower here. I don't think I'm gonna really film in the gym today. I'm not in like the best mood, really, honestly. I don't know if it's just because it's Valentine's Day and I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know. We'll see, we'll check in. I think I might do like some chest and abs or something. I don't really know what I'm gonna train. My legs are so sore and work like killed me, so. Let me take a moment. Hey. Um.
Good morning, happy Thursday. Last night, because we have no heat, nothing. Tell me why, please look at this. Corals, like, which is like the energy company, came this morning. It's my house right now. 57 degrees. I sleep, you guys know I sleep naked. So I still sleep naked because like this, I can't, I have like sensory when I have a bunch of clothes on, but I had like 10 blankets on me, my heater going, literally freezing, but luckily the heat's back on, which is even more good for my breakfast situation because I, <laughs> Yesterday before work is when we lost all of our heating and stuff and I already had everything made for breakfast And I just had to heat up my eggs like put them in the stove. We have no gas. So I had to microwave I microwaved my eggs I did and it worked and it looked foul and I'm glad that nobody saw that but me But if you ever need to microwave eggs, you can do it. It doesn't look good I can put my microwave at rest a little bit because she's been in overdrive because we have nothing You know like stovetop and I cook on my stove more than I realized. I'm very grateful for heat because i'm realizing how much we use it you know like the, the stove the shower washing my face this morning was like i was those people that do like plunge baths you know what i'm saying except with some sanity because what i could do that maybe one day i don't know if you're like what's in the background i'm unloading my dishwasher <laughs> but i decided to show you guys our thermostat it's gonna only rise and it's literally been at 52 and now it's at 57 we're gonna make some breakfast i'm feeling a lot better i just got off the phone with my best friend we talked for like 45 minutes and i just feel a lot better i love talking to her we always we just help each other I love you Caroline. Yeah, I'm gonna finish that make some breakfast and we will chat later. Also um, Don't know what's going on with my skin. I know that the, the camera doesn't really pick it up I have two pimple patches on maybe it's my stress because I've had a bad week And I feel like your skin your skin is an organ, right? So it can tell when you have I've had a bad week But I'm drinking my water today and praying. Well that wraps up this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching I would really encourage you guys if you're going through a hard time to just talk to a camera because I can't even express how grateful I am that I have this as an outlet. Maybe it's not a good thing sometimes because I just talk about nothing. But through that, it's actually helped me a lot. And I've all you guys' comments, you know, saying that you feel the same way or that I'm not alone, whatever. It does make you feel a lot better. And even if it's just like in Snapchat or something, I would really encourage you, if you're having a day where you don't even know what your thoughts are and journaling even feels like it's too much, you can't even hold the pencil, because I get that, just make a video, okay? You don't have to show anybody, burden anybody with watching, okay? Like I do, you don't have to post it on YouTube for the internet to see, but it is very, very helpful in organizing your thoughts and just getting them out somewhere, and it's helped me a lot. And this past week hasn't been the best, honestly. If you, I don't know if you can see, I think my my body knows that I'm losing my mind, um, but that's okay. I'm about to go hit quads with my mom tonight. I'm not like gonna film that or anything. I think I'm gonna do like a different vid for the weekend, but it gets better. It just takes acknowledging that, and sometimes you don't even wanna acknowledge that, and that is really hard. And I feel like everybody else is so emotionally regulated, and I am so sporadic. I guess it's an insecurity of mine, of my moods, because I think I judge them with a lot more depth than other people do, or it feels that way at times. So to know that other people feel similarly, or to just have an outlet to put that is helpful. So I appreciate you watching and being there for me. You guys help me so much in so many different ways, and I love you so, so much. I'm so, so excited for all that's to come, and even more excited for you guys to come along with me. So yeah, have a great, beautiful day. Comment your favorite... Comment your favorite thing to do when you have a really bad day that makes you feel better. And maybe we can all just like share some ideas, not like the basic, take a nap, like I said, you know, like some fun different things that aren't normal or not normal, but regular. I'm curious. I love you guys so much. I mean, that's all I got. <laughs> Go get big.